welcome back to my channel. Let me get a little closer so you can hear me better. Before we get started, go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. It would really mean a lot to me. And give this video a thumbs up while you're at it. Those buttons are all right next to each other. So go ahead and do that real quick. You can pause this video, whatever. So as you can tell by the title, today I'm going to be talking to you guys about supplements and sports nutrition, I guess, and what I use, what has helped me throughout the years. Um, I'm not a nutritionist or a doctor or anything, but I have done a lot of research throughout the years and kind of found out what works best for me in my body and my budget. So I have a few different supplements here. Some of them are a little pricier, and then I also have, uh, I'm going to share with you guys some cheaper options as well if you are on a budget because when I started my health and fitness journey I was in college so you know I had literally like no money at all other than what I did make from my little side job that I had which was not a lot so that's pretty much what all my money went to that and food. If you guys are interested to see what kind of supplements I use maybe you're starting your fitness journey health and fitness journey and you're just confused and overwhelmed and just kind of want to see maybe something new for you to try. So without further ado, I'm going to stop rambling now. Let us hop into today's video. All right, so I'm going to kind of go in order of what I take and like throughout the day. So I'm going to go from like kind of in order. I'm recording this on October 1st and I'm really excited because I'm tired of this hot weather. And like I put Boo in her little Halloween shirt. You look so cute. I know you hate being touched. I promise she loves me. I swear on all my videos it looks like I'm torturing her. But she, like, she she just doesn't like to be touched unless it's on her terms. Like, when I get home and I have stuff to do, she just wants to sit on me. And, like, she, like, jumps on me and stuff. So, I promise she loves me. So, first, I like to start off with some kind of probiotic or some kind of supplement like that first thing in the morning. I just really like either drinking a greens drink or a probiotic um like something like this this is by the health lab um i actually found this at marshall's and it is a skin and beauty blend with marine collagen so basically it has prebiotics probiotics um where is it a little bit of protein marine collagen um beetroot powder vitamin E and vitamin A and then some stevia to make it taste good. I'll either, um, so I like to alternate, you know, between this or like a greens powder, um, first thing in the morning because I think it really helps my stomach and my gut and it kind of just starts my day off on the right foot. I'm putting something good into my body in the morning so I'm more likely to kind of stick with that and eat healthy throughout the but I just opened the door. Her food is in my closet and she wanted it in there. But anyways, I just kind of like, I like to start my morning. It's part of my morning routine to before my coffee, before anything, before I eat, I either start with like a prebiotic, um, like skin collagen drink or a greens powder. It just depends what I have. And right now it's this. All right. And next up is a pre-workout. I actually just started using the pre-workout by Alani News, the rainbow candy flavor. I have used all kinds of different pre-workouts before. Um, there are some that I have tried that have made me feel like super jittery and stuff, but for the most part, my caffeine tolerance is pretty high because I drink a lot of coffee too, so, excuse me. I don't use pre-workout every single day before my workouts. It's just whenever I really need a little extra boost of energy. Um, so basically what pre-workout is, is like, a little drink that you can take before you go to the gym and it has a lot of caffeine sorry my camera shut off but what I was saying is so basically um, what you know whenever you take pre-workouts that is the beta alanine kicking in and what beta alanine is is what it does essentially is it doesn't make your muscles break down as fast so when you're working out you are able to do more reps of whatever it is your muscles aren't don't get as sore and like fatigued as easily. That's a better word. They don't get as fatigued as easily. Um, so I really do like taking pre-workout because it does give me that little extra boost in the gym and all that stuff. And that's what I wanted to mention as well. Um, what drew me to the Alani new pre-workout is that it doesn't have as much like 
crap in it as some pre-workouts do and like i said in my last video if you haven't seen it go check it out drug driving by excuse me okay so as i mentioned in my last video i'm trying to cut out as many toxins as i can in my diet and in my skin beauty cleaning products that i use and um while alani new is a little bit more expensive um I was more willing to spin that because it doesn't have as much crap in it and it tastes really good. So like this literally tastes like Skittles, the rainbow candy flavor. They have all kinds of cool flavors. It gives me motivation to go to the gym because I'm like, oh, I get to drink my pre-workout before I go. And it kind of just like sets that routine for me. And once I take my pre-workout, I know I have to put my clothes on and then go to the gym and then I'm good to go. And so the next thing I'm going to talk about is also a pre-workout is a little less expensive if you are on a budget um this one does have bcaas in it as well in it as well which are which stands for branch chain amino acids um it's kind of up in the air if bcaas are really necessary so what they do is they basically do the same thing as beta alanine um they help your muscles not break down as fast and they kind of help keep your body hydrated but your body naturally produces BCAAs so it's kind of like if you're gonna buy supplements and you're on a budget and you don't know what what to buy you can definitely skip out on BCAAs they don't hurt you they don't do any harm or anything they do help maybe a little bit but they're not super necessary some people like to drink them during their workouts and stuff but and I, I used to do that in the past like guilty as charged but it's not necessary i just like this one because it also has a little bit of caffeine or pre-workout in it um and it's cheaper i got this at walmart and yeah and it tastes really good this is the fruit bunch fruit punch flavored um like i said it's the bcaa's in it do help a little bit but it's definitely not necessary this is just a cheaper version if you do want something more like this look into amino energy because those have essential amino acids which are different than the bcaa's your body doesn't produce um essential aminos or whatever it is that they have in the um amino energy and this is just bcaa's which your body does produce so your body produces the bcaa's it doesn't produce the essential aminos which are in the brand i'll put a picture of it up here um in amino energy and so basically if you haven't had enough protein in the day or you kind of have skipped some meals or whatever you can drink that it has the pre-workout in it and it gives your body that fuel and it's like you're eating i don't know like drinking a protein shake and having your pre-workout at the same time you're hitting your protein and you also are getting that pump and that energy before you go work out. We are falling asleep. <laughs> I need to time out. And last but not least, I'm going to talk about protein powder. This is by Optimum Nutrition. Uh, this is the vanilla ice cream flavor. And it is the gold standard, 100% whey. So in one serving of this protein powder or one scoop, it has 24 grams of protein, 3 grams of carbs, 1 gram of sugar, uh, and 1 gram of fat, which is really good. So I like to take protein right after I work out, especially if I'm lifting weights or whatever, because your muscles do break down and the little fibers in your muscles break down and tear. So what protein does is it helps repair your muscle tissues and helps you um, build muscle faster and it also helps you not feel as sore the next day. And I also personally don't eat enough protein throughout the day because I only the only meat I eat is chicken and seafood sometimes. So, and of course there's protein in other foods, but I have tracked my macros before and I'm always way under on protein. So I started incorporating this into my post-workout nutrition, whatever. So thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope you learned something. I hope you got a little bit more insight into nutrition or into workout nutrition and kind of what I do. Maybe it helps you guys out a little bit. I don't know. Um, and I do want to make a disclaimer. 
using supplements is not necessary to work out obviously if you are on a strict budget they definitely are not necessary um i trust me i was there when i first started working out i didn't use any supplements at all i just really enjoyed going um i just made sure that my eating was very clean and i was trying to target all of my macros throughout the day um i don't track anymore i just know what my body thrives off of and how much food i need to eat and kind of like what macros are if that makes sense i can make another video about that if you guys want so like i said they're not necessary they just kind of help you reach your goals maybe a little bit faster and kind of help your body in the long run um so if you guys did like this video go ahead and give it a thumbs up it would really mean a lot to me and yeah comment below if you guys have any ideas for or suggestions of things you would like to see in my on my channel in the future and that's about it so i love you guys so much and i will see you in my next video bye